Sometimes in Photoshop there are tasks that you need to repeat. Now, for example, with this photo, there may be a number of operations that I want to do to it. So for example, I might resize it. So I'll go to image, image size. Now, say for example, I work on a website where all of our images have to be scaled to a width of 400. I type it in here, let the constraint do its thing and click on OK. Now my image is 400. Another thing that I have to do is desaturate. So I'm going to go image, adjustments, hue saturation. I'm going to crank it down. And then I'm also going to filter, sharpen, sharpen more. It's a little bit over the top, but say for example, I had to do that. Now I need to do this for several images. So surely I just save this and then do it to the next one and over and over, and over again. Well, no, what you can do is to make an action. An action is a saved set of instructions, such as what we've just done, uh, which can be repeated. So I'm going to go back to the start and then I'm going to go to the actions panel. So if you go to window actions and make sure you've got that, it's a little play icon. Now to record an action, you simply make a new action. So click the new icon. I'm going to call this scale and desaturate. And I'm going to click record. Now record is automatically enabled now. So I can go ahead and do what I need to do. So I am going to resize my image. I'm going to desaturate. And I'm going to sharpen. And that's me done. Now I can hit stop on the actions panel. And anytime I want to rerun the action on another photo, I can simply use this. Now if I open another photo, I can do the same thing. So I can select my action, click on the play icon, and it does all of those actions for me. Then I can simply save it out. Let's see that again with one more photo. Simply select the action and hit play. But what if I want to process a series of images and run that action on them and save them out? I can do this using the image processor. If you go to File, Scripts, Image Processor, the image processor allows you to set a destination and a source folder. So first we'll select the folder to process. And I have a four processing folder full of images. I'm going to click on open. I'm going to ask it to save in a separate folder. So I'm going to select the folder and set it to my empty final processed images folder. I'm going to allow it to save as JPEG. I'm going to set my quality to 10. And then I want to include my action. So run action should be checked and it's my default set. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see scale and desaturate the action that we made earlier. Now I just simply need to hit run and Photoshop's going to go through and do all of those images for me. Now that they're done, I can simply take a look in that folder and we can see that I've got all of my small images with that action applied to them. And that's the basics of actions and batch processing in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.